Hi everyone and welcome back to our channel. So in today's video we are doing a complete guinea pig health check to help you really get to know your piggies and understand what is normal for guinea pigs and what is not so normal. So we have all four piggies to help us out today. That's Lyra, Willow, Roxy and Phoebe. As you can see they are all extremely excited to be examined. Just a bit of a serious message before we start and that is that health checking and weighing your guinea pigs is so important and every good guinea pig owner should be doing it. Guinea pigs are prey animals and they have evolved to not be targeted by predators by disguising illnesses. So symptoms can be very subtle. And just so I don't repeat myself all the way through the video, if you are worrying about your guinea pigs, you think something isn't right, maybe they have a symptom that I talk about in the video or if there's anything else that gives you cause for concern then please take your guinea pigs to a vet ideally an exotics vet who is trained and more experienced at dealing with guinea pigs okay so how often health checking and weighing should be done at least every fortnight and i would probably recommend once a week and more often if you suspect something is not right or if your guinea pigs are already getting treated for something and you need to monitor that for example if your guinea pig drops in weight then start weighing them every day to monitor and track the change at the same time of day if possible. And as well as health checking, don't forget to watch your guinea pigs. So how they act and their behaviours might give us just as much information on how they're feeling and whether there might be any health problems developing. And there are definitely some specific behaviours that guinea pigs do when they are feeling under the weather, so I will cover these a bit later on in the video too. Okay, so I think we're ready and who is up first? <laughs> Starting with the ears. It's normal for guinea pig ears to have very sparse to thin hair as guinea pigs use their ears for temperature regulation. When checking the ears make sure they aren't too dirty inside, look at the ear flap and the back of the ear to see if the skin looks healthy and if you're introducing piggies the ears are a really good place to check for any injuries that they might get from other guinea pigs. I had this with uh, Phoebe and Roxy getting a few scratches on their ears and when I was health checking them I just made sure that those scabs were healing over and everything was healing fine. Okay so eyes next. Guinea pig eyes should be wide open, bright, with no discharge or crusting around the eye. Do be aware that it's normal for guinea pigs to produce a white substance from their eyes when they are cleaning themselves. Fatty eye is also a harmless condition where a little sliver of white appears under the eye and it usually doesn't cause them any problems. If the eyes look sore and watery then it could be due to an infection or damage such as a hay poke. Here's a fact, bits of hay get stuck in guinea pigs eyes <laughs> and it's a nightmare when it happens but it does need to be dealt with at the vets rather quickly so it doesn't develop into anything more serious especially if you see a kind of blue film starting to form over the surface of the eye as that's an eye also starting to form. On to nosies and your guinea pig's nose should be dry and clear of any discharge or crusting. It's pretty normal sometimes for guinea pigs to sneeze but it shouldn't really be that often. If they're sneezing a lot it could be a sign of an upper respiratory infection or an allergy or some other problem with their airways. Now for the mouth which is a very important one and lots of stuff is going on here. So first check their lips, check for any sores or scabs which might be caused by bacterial or fungal infection or even from something simple like feeding too many acidic foods such as tomatoes and apples. The mouth is a good place to check for injuries too as it's somewhere that guinea pigs will target when they fight each other. You can see here that Lyra has an old scar on her lip which was caused by fighting. The vets actually had to glue her lip back together, it was so severe. And for the teeth it can be hard for us to check the teeth but we can hopefully see the incisors or the front teeth fairly well so hopefully we can see that they are present, they are white in colour and they are lined up and parallel with each other. Now it's normal for the bottom teeth to be the longest and they should sit just behind the front teeth. It's also perfectly normal that there's no teeth just next door to the incisors. Without a special scope you can't really view the back teeth but what you can do is to feel along their jaw and cheeks pressing 
gently, seeing if your guinea pig reacts to any sore points. Even if the incisors look okay, but your guinea pig is struggling with eating, then it's probably the molars that are causing the problem. Moving away from the face area <laughs> onto the rest of the body. Guinea pigs have hair rather than fur, so it's kind of like ours. It can be parted easily and you can see the skin underneath fairly well. Note that it's normal for guinea pigs to have bald patches behind their ears and on the inner side of their front legs. So parting the hair, look closely at the skin. It should be smooth and free of dandruff, scabs or sores. Skin problems are common in guinea pigs, but fortunately they can be treated easily with the right medication. And hair loss can also happen in guinea pigs due to hormonal changes, such as ovarian cysts in females, like Willow has, so she's kind of fairly sparsely haired on her flanks, which is somewhere that's affected by ovarian cysts. Hair loss can also be caused by thyroid problems, which again is to do with hormones. Sometimes guinea pigs can lose hair mysteriously and then it ends up being one of their cage mates which has decided they want to try their hand at hairdressing and they start nibbling off the hair of the guinea pigs that they live with. Also when you're checking over the rest of the body be sure to check for lumps and bumps as they can be prone to cysts and tumours. And something that's specific to boars is the grease gland. Females also have it but it's generally not as active so it doesn't need any attention. But in boars it can get rather greasy and crusty so it might need cleaning. Moving on to piggy feet. <laughs> so check over their feet. It's normal for guinea pigs to have four toes on the front and three on the back. Sometimes they can have extra ones and as long as they don't appear to be causing them any problems then they're fine to be left as they are as a strange little extra toe. Look at the soles of the feet. There shouldn't be any red patches or sores or scabs. This could be an infection called bumblefoot and I actually have a video on this which I will pop in the description below. So underneath both male and female guinea pigs have two nipples. Sometimes these can grow lumps so make sure that it's smooth and flat underneath the nipples. Have a look at their bits. <laughs> For both males and females there shouldn't be any swelling or bad smelling discharge. Females might swell a little bit if they come into season but it's normal for them not to bleed. In general your guinea pig's bottom region should be dry but if it's constantly wet then that might indicate a problem with their bladder. And finally as I mentioned earlier your guinea pig's behaviour can sometimes tell us just as much if not more about their health. But look out for changes in usual behaviours such as being less active, not coming up for food or begging and being reluctant to move or walk around. And here's a quick fire list of other behaviours that might indicate health problems. So we've got spitting food out when eating, walking with stiff legs or kind of hopping along, sitting hunched up, especially if facing the wall or corner of the cage, looking generally uncomfortable, maybe with the hair raised up slightly, might be grinding their teeth, drinking more or less and eating less, squeaking in pain when they're pooing or peeing, tilting their head to one side which could indicate an ear infection infection and scratching and biting at the skin. And I just wanted to talk about pooing and peeing as well. <laughs> guinea pigs do a lot of it so let's not be shy. <laughs> Things that you should look out for is changes in the shape or consistency of their poops. If they ever look really soft or misshapen or kind of strings of poos together then that's not normal. Soft poos can be down to what they're eating so if it's happening a lot then maybe look at their diet. Maybe less fresh fruit and vegetables to try and up their hay and fibre intake. For guinea pig pee, it's normal for it to be cloudy, but it's not normal for very dark, discoloured, brown or red urine, which could indicate bladder and kidney problems. And lastly for poops, it's normal for your guinea pigs to eat their own poo. <laughs> it's part of how they digest food, basically. They have special poos which they eat. They just bend down and fetch them themselves. <laughs> so you don't really ever get to see these special poos. And lastly, weighing. Guinea pig weight can vary between 30 and 40 grams over the course of 24 hours, so it's really good to try and weigh when you're doing it at the same time in the day. Look out for your piggy's weight dropping, even if it is very gradually. And don't forget, weight is the one thing that guinea pigs can't try and hide from us, <laughs> so it's really valuable in kind of tracking and monitoring their health. The average guinea pig should weigh between 900 and 1200 grams.
And that is all for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it was a bit information overload. I really did try to pack as much as possible in there. So it's kind of more of an introduction to guinea pig health in a way. And if you want me to cover anything more specific in a specific video, then please just pop that in the comments below and I will try and do that for you. And let me know if you're going to start giving your guinea pigs regular health checks and weighing them. It's a really, really good thing to do. I cannot stress that enough. <laughs> <laughs> so I hope you found this video useful and if you haven't already then please hit that subscribe button and turn the bell on for notifications for new videos. It really helps support the channel and it really helps us to carry on making videos like this which I hope lots of owners will find useful. Okay guys that's all for today, we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, bye bye!